dear Dad, the war will have to end sometime, won't it? If you take a wander down Church Street on a quiet afternoon Past Essam Shoes and the furniture store You get to Old St George's soon Step inside the church, let your eyes adjust And stay a little while And slowly read list of names on the wall of the South Island. Albert, Abbott, Donald Kays, you wonder who were they? Alfred Flint, how old was he when the war took him away? Henry King and Dennis Long, you'd like to ask them why. They left the town of Wolverton to go to France and die. Was it love of country or fear of scorn that made them all enlist? Did each one think they'd survive the war? Did they think what they would miss? Did they have a clue what war's about? What life's like in a trench? Let's look at one whose name's marked down Private Albert Frank. Dear May, we are going to Andover to join the 19th Battalion of the King's Royal Rifle Corps. They say it is not a very lively place, although it is a pretty part, but we shall have to make the best of it. Tell Dad I am going to follow up fitting and turning, study with my books when I get a case, and become a Major General someday. When once I start going, I shall rise like the early morning dew. Give my love to Dad, the boys and aunt. Your loving brother Albert. Dearest May, we went on a 16 mile route march yesterday with packs, ammunition, bayonets, rifles. In fact, we had everything. We are learning shooting and bayonet fighting now. With fondest love from Albert. Dear May, I hope you had as happy a Christmas as possible under the circumstances. I had a decent Christmas, but it was nothing like being at home. Still, I made a decent job of it. With love from Albert. Dear May, we finished our musketry course this morning. In the first two parts I did splendid, but in the third and final part I did not do so well. The first two parts do not really count, so I have truly turned out a second class shot. Still, there are hundreds in our battalion that haven't done as good as me, your loving brother Albert. Dear May, I expect the next letter you write to me will be in France, but I must tell you I am in the very pink and hope you are the same. Your loving brother, Albert. Dear May, is Wolverton still as quiet as usual? How is Barber's Picture Palace getting on? Do they still have full houses on Mondays and Saturdays? There's no picture palaces, theatres or anything here. There's always plenty of aeroplanes fighting around here and we can frequently see aeroplanes with shells bursting all around them. It rains very frequently here. I don't know whether the explosion of the shells have anything to do with it. Your loving brother, Albert. Dear Dad, the war will have to end sometime, won't it? We don't see much life, for they don't let us go about at all while we're in the trenches. I hope I shall be with you in a few months' time. I remain your loving son, Albert. Dear May, we are quartered in Musty Villa, which is the name given to our dugout. We have to do our grub up securely or half of it disappears to the rats and mice. 
The shells do not make so much row as I thought they would. They make a whirring, tearing noise and scream slightly. You can hear them rushing through the air, but you can't see them going. They make a big hole and plenty of smoke when they burst and bits fly about 50 yards. The bullets make a long drawn out pinging noise. Well dear May, must now come to a close with the best of my love to you, your loving brother, Albert. Mr. E. French, I regret to have to report the death of your son, C. 7259 Rifleman Albert French, who was killed by machine gun fire. He was a very good soldier, although so young, and a willing worker. The officers and riflemen of 18th King's Royal Rifle Corps wish to convey to you and your family their deepest sympathy in this your sad bereavement. Yours faithfully, R. Pennell, Captain.